Welcome back to Sturge Trip. Yeah, this is Sturge. I'm Planet Sirene, and I'm playing with the big guns. Look at this thing. It's huge. This is like Ogre Megaton. Big gun. I could hit all the Zelados from here. I don't even have to worry about it. I could just shoot straight over to Ice Plateau. I would be the winner. But I thought, uh, thought I'd come over to Sirene and show off some cool stuff here on Sirene. I'm, you know, this is my home planet, my adopted home planet, so it's nice to be back doing a little, uh, little fun stuff. But I thought, you know, one of the things is when you're really noobish like me, you, uh, you need certain things to make it easier for you to move ahead in the game. Some of those things would be weapons, of course, and or armor. If you already have a set of armor, you might be needing some armor plating. Well, there's no better place to find yourself some armor plating than right here on Planet Sirene. Starting at the Arc staging area, you can uh, you can actually do some missions for these NPCs here. And uh, all you have to do, yeah, just come straight to the Arc staging area and run over to this group of individuals. Three of the missions that you need to do of the seven actually start right here with Hollingsworth uh, being one of them, Dr. Nicolo over here, and then of course Harwell. And these are, so you get started really quickly and easily, but I do recommend going to Sirene Secrets first. And I'm telling you, if you haven't been to Sirene Secrets, you got to get over here quick because this is the, uh, this is the best resource for Planet Sirene. Honestly, hands down, this is the great way, great way to go. Uh, Thanatos has put together this really amazing, compilation of all things Sirene, from missions to, well, look, the discovery of Blue Icy Crystal. Uh, but all you have to do to get the, to figure out uh, which NPCs you need to talk to, you can go to, so click on Sirene Missions, uh, it helps if I spell armor correctly, type in Imperium Armor, there we go, and you'll get the Imperium Armor plating, which is the seven missions that you'll need to do to pick up the seven uh, Ar Imperium armor plates. Those armor plates can then be upgraded later. That's what's so cool about this. So really basic armor plating for new players that can then be upgraded as you get more skill. Uh, and you can, you can find that information right here on Sirene Secrets. Let's take a look here at the armor platings themselves. I'll pull mine off of my... Uh, this is the one I just got. The... Uh, Pull them off my adjusted Muska um, foot guards and detach all attachments. And here's what the plating, the actual armor plating looks like. It's a uh, one bed plating. Uh, it has a lot of incredible durability. You know, uh, it says 400, but it lasts a long time. We get burn protection, impact protection, and penetration protection of one. And you might be saying, wait, then that's not a lot of protection. Well, you know, the for... Basically, um, I mean, they're almost free plates. Basically, you just got to go kill a few monsters and take their loot, some mobs, and get the loot, right? It, these are a great starter, and that you can upgrade them, and that the upgraded version is even better. I think this is a really good place for new players to start who are looking for armor plating. And I want to say that because Siren's full of things like this, where you can take, you know, your the... The heart fat mission and that thing can be uh, oh there you go messi gets an eleven thousand ped eomon stalker oh boy good work messi uh but yeah i just wanted to say this is the place you can get the all kinds of things you can you can get uh, as a new player and then slowly upgrade them here on siren and that is one of the reasons i adopted siren as my home planet uh, in some instances though you may have lost your imperium armor plating but there's no need to worry. You can come right here to the Carnap's Landing Teleporter, which is actually on this little island uh, just to the north. Uh, it's like the northernmost area. It's a private land area. There's no taxation uh, here, so no worry about that. Uh, yeah, so just this this green highlighted land area up to the north, and you're going to run over and talk to the exasperated... Uh, collector net and this is how you can get a replacement for any of the imperium armor plating that you've lost from the other missions it's going to take a little bit of time uh, you can read through this dialogue it's actually kind of funny uh, but it's going to take a little bit of time to do this uh, exactly this is what i want i want the plate uh and then we're going to go run over and we're going to attack some of these uh these bots, now these hazard uh, zone mechs are off to the west a little bit, and they're quite a, there's quite a uh, 
quite a few of different uh, maturities. One of the things that it does say in the uh, in the mission bar is the um, the levels or the the maturities that you can fight. So I tried these hazard mech training touring, and they didn't count, which is odd because it seems to indicate that that the deluxe of the touring should be okay. You should be able to you know fight these level tens and get credit for it, but actually i'm gonna land in here it's kind of tricky because i don't want to get uh, i don't want to aggro all the other mobs in this area i just want to aggro well the ones i want to shoot at the level 10s here all right so we can see here um mech train touring mech touring deluxe sport deluxe i killed one didn't do anything didn't fill the bar in any way so this is a level 10 renegade hazard mech touring extra maybe the extra is the is the problem. I'm not sure uh, which ones are going to count here. I killed several of these. I'm using AR Matrix LR30 and the loot wasn't very good, but that's okay. Uh, I found the level fives. These guys are just out the west part of western gate from where you uh, talk to Nat, exasperated collector Nat. And you can see it's filling the bar here. So these guys work their hazard mech touring, so that, that should be good. If you're low level, then you should be able to to weather the storm with a few of these uh, so you can get another uh, Imperium Armor Plating. So there we have it. Now you know how to get the Imperium Armor Platings. It's great for new players. One of the coolest things here on uh, Siren is the new player items and then those things you can take and you can upgrade them later down the road. Then you can find sneaky root robots like this guy hiding in the, hiding in the canyon over here. And now uh, the next thing I think I want to do is come back after this and do some highlighty stuff specifically uh, i want to look at the upgradable part of the upgradable aspect of the imperium armor platings that we just i uh, just showed you how to get and then i want to show you how to get all the components for those because i think that's going to be maybe one of the trickier parts specifically uh, i've already looked that over but um, i think we'll do that in another video because you know we don't want to make these things too long-winded and there's always a lot more adventuring to do get big birds to run away from and big bots like that oh well i didn't run fast enough well that's enough fun for one day thanks <laughs> thank you all for watching this is sturge signing off ciao